What is up, the world? It is your friendly neighborhood slip gator here. Uh, hanging out today, doing stuff and things, playing some more satisfactory. Whoa, whoa, what was that? How'd I do that? So there's a ragdoll command, by the way. Control Shift R. Thank you guys so much for coming to hang out with me today. Thank you so much for all of your kind comments and your thumbs up on the last video. Make sure if you like this one, smash the thumbs up button. If you're new and you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and check it out, guys. Stuff and things are going great. Our new freaking storage space area place is unbelievable and amazing. You've already started to fill up over here on our plates, on these guys, on these guys. But you know what? What's the point of doing any of this? If we're just going to be upgrading these to the MK2 storages, why don't we just do that, man? So I'm feeling like we're going to head back over this way. We have a couple of housekeeping stuff and things to do here. I added some of these poles over on the side, the conveyor pole extenders, so we can have some over there too. Um, so housekeeping stuff and things need to happen. We've got to move these storages that just have like our stuff, just like the stuff. I think these have, this has reinforced iron plates. These guys have just some rods. We just have to move it down into the storage, but we need to make the MK2 storages. So uh, under organization right here, the encased industrial beams, I think it is, are what we need in order to make them. Now we have 32, 8, 16, 32 total storages over there. What do the encased industrial beams look like here? We can make 36 of them. We just need yieldy Crete and some steel beams. These guys, man, we need so many steel beams. So, um, we need the Cree and the steel beams. Now, let's go ahead and do some maths here. Uh, the pipes I got tons of. 15 times 36? Uh, 15 times 36? I don't know. That I don't know what it is off the top of my head. 540? Is it 540? 15 times 36? I don't know. We need a lot. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that to start off today. We're going to get all of the MK2 storages upgraded in the massive storage. I don't even know what to call this, man. The Arbor the Amborium, the old Amborium um, in the storage facility. Then we're going to get all these guys moved over into there as well. That's the first order of business for the day. Let's go, team. All right. So, <clears throat> you guys know how long it takes to manually create 540 industrial beams, uh, in case industrial beams. It takes a really long time. So we're not going to do all 540. I got to like around 400 and I was like, yeah, I don't know. I don't think this is going to be a thing. Uh, I think it'd probably take me, even with the materials that I had, like an hour and a half, probably. <laughs> so I figured what we would do is we would do maybe eight of these guys. The guys in the bottom level, or eight, pardon me, 16, I think we could do. Uh, the 16 on the bottom level, and we'll call that a day. So we are getting, the wait, what? What are you? Wait, hold on. What is even... Oh, we got a full inventory. We can't fit any more of those little guys in. I got it. Just the materials that we're losing from uh, from this. Oh, no. It won't snap now because of those things are in the way. Uh, why don't we go like this? Like, like this? Lost my cursor for a second there. Then we can pop it out of here and grab all those guys. That should fix it up for us. So we're just going to replace the guys that are down in this area here. It'll probably be easier if I did them all at the same time, like so. And like so. So I've had a thought recently, guys, because there's so much stuff to do in this game uh, at, at this point. Um, and what I'm thinking about doing is combining the YouTube and streaming playthroughs. Because I'm basically doing the same thing in each one. Um, and it would allow me to get a lot more stuff done a lot more quickly. If I were to do it that way, stuff like this that I could be doing on stream, um, because this game is really, I mean, it's really deep. There's, oh, Shiza. I placed these all backwards, I think. Crap, those guys are good. Those guys are good. We didn't do these guys yet. Place, oh, wait, we did that guy already. Wait, we did these guys. They're all backwards as well. Crapola. So, um, yeah, I'm thinking about combining the playthrough since we're just doing everything kind of like twice anyway. Uh, and then what do you got inside of you there, buddy? Grab all. Oh, crap. Uh, we'll just trash that guy like so. So it might be something that we do in the future. For now, I'm still keeping them separate. You can let me know what you think in the down there. I know a lot of you guys really want everything to be separated out. Um, but I feel like I'll be able to make a lot more progress if I was to just do them together. Um, 
because we got like i mean i can't even explain to you how many more things that we could do to make our our factories more efficient running huge amounts of conveyors from all around the world really would make things work a lot more quickly um and it'll be unbelievable and amazing so how many more encased industrial beams do we have now so just 157 left so 540 divided by two is 270. so we need 270 more encased industrial beams to do the top floor so for now we can just kind of like hold off on that a little bit um at this point i'm going to now move all of our storages over and then i think we're going to work on expanding our factory on this end over here um we want to get some uh what are they even called reinforced iron plates so we need to get some production of reinforced iron plates going over here with all those additional iron ingots that we've been producing um we need a second story factory in order to do that um so we're going to go ahead and take all of these guys, move them up to a second floor, build that up over here, uh, and then start working on those guys. So over this way, like so, like so, I'm going to go ahead and store all of our stuff and things in there and then start moving these guys in to the appropriate storage areas. All right. And we're back. Look at that. Bam. So I made an extended area up here for our factory. We have a little ladder deal coming down or going up, going down like this over here. So what we're going to need to do first is we got to combine all these bad hombres. What I'm thinking about doing, what do we got here? How many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we got nine. Uh, these are all nine MK1s. All these guys are coming out at 30 per minute. So these nine MK1s got to go into, I think, three MK2s and then one MK3. So we got to combine these guys. Uh, why don't we just take under our logistics our splitter mergers like so can we place this like i mean it's got to actually be a little bit compact over here let's see how we could do this place this merger right here i don't want to be too far away or too close like so if we did that right there like that let me get all these guys in Like so and like so. All right. So now we got to come over here to this guy. Do another merger. It's got to be lined up with the other one. Oh, wait, wait. There it is right there. Like so. And then this guy over here. Like so. All right. Sweet. So that should be pretty straightforward. Pretty easy peasy. Now we could just do it into uh, the three lines. The three MK2s. But I feel like just bringing one MK3 up would probably be the easiest way to go. So now we've got to combine all three of these lines into a single one as well using M MK2. Wait, this is... Wait, what? Wait, what? Slip Gator! Okay, much better, in fact. And now another conveyor merger. Let's see if we can just go, like, right here with this. And then we're going to have to use MK2s. Oh, wait, that's way too close, yo. That ain't going to work at all. Merger here, maybe out like so. And then this guy here. Like so. Like so. And like so. All right. So all of our ones going into mergers, going into our twos, going into a merger. And then this has got to be a three guy. Now, in order to make the MK3 stuff, we're going to need these guys right here. The uh, steel beams. Now, I made all of those uh, encased industrial beams. And I've used up a majority of our steel beams. And I'm going to need some. Uh, unfortunately. So let's take a look and see here. Nothing inside of there. What do you got for me here, homie? Oh, that's probably near to enough. Um, so what we're going to do is try to take this guy up right over this area. We still don't have the vertical conveyors yet. And those are actually supposed to be coming. Um, they're going to be coming to... I don't remember exactly when it's going to be happening. I think the end of this month. Um, so in order to kind of make this work the easiest way that we can the least amount of stuff and things we could go up right here like this if we went like that and then i think it would have to be like this far across like so we take this guy here can you go up there and then if we went like this extend this guy up to the test Uh, not far enough away. All right. So, uh, seven guy. And then place it here. Take these guys down. Like so. All right. Now, can you go up? 
done it. Nailed it. He can't be stopped. So we can vertical conveyor this guy up this way. I wonder. Yeah, conveyor belt too steep. Oh, sorry. We could do it like that. I mean, we could also just kind of go up and over. And I wonder if it would matter. I don't know which one would be the best. But I'm thinking also if we're going to do this, we'll probably expand this base actually out this way. Right over to, well, at least one more level here. I think that would probably be a good idea. So, all right. We're going to convey this guy up to the top and expand the base out. Make it better. Okay. All of our ingots are moved up. We had to do some creative stuff and things, but here they are. This is our splitter basically in the middle of our platform here. Now we've got to split this out again. So this guy's got to go into three guys. And I'm wondering, should we just do the vertical splitter stuff and things that we've been doing before? Uh, if we go ahead and grab a foundation like this. Uh, I got my deals on. Wait, what? I got my jump deals on. I should be able to jump up that. Okay, we're good. Uh, if we grab that guy right there. This guy's about in the middle. If we were to do another guy right about in the middle. Uh, logistics, conveyor splitter. And then, are you... Is that the middle? Mm, okay. Yeah, pretty good. Not bad. Uh, we could grab one guy right here. Now, if we're going to do it this way, we've got to set up all of our assemblers as well. Uh, are they assemblers? Actually, I can't even remember the names of all these deals. Uh, production, constructors. So we're going to need to set up our constructors over here, and we're going to need nine of them. Uh, I wonder if this will be too close. Let's set one guy up like here. Two. Three, four, five, counting with Slip Gator. Seven. Oh, oh, eight, and nine. All right, so there's nine of those guys right there. Now I'm wondering about if this is going to be too close. So these are going to be MK1 belts. This guy's going to come all the way over to there. This is encroaching on others' clearance. So, it's not going to work out for us. Uh, what about if we were to do this guy here? Yeah, that guy fits right over there. Maybe we could just kind of go like this. Bring this out to like here. That works perfectly. This guy would have to go here. This guy would need to be an MK2 belt uh, on our 8 slot there. We could set that up top like... Oh, crap. Did I push this the wrong way? Got you. Slipcater. All right. Another splitter right here. Facing the correct direction. Now, here's the question. Can we get these guys to come up in the right way? Because this is all quite tight. Oh, it does work. Ooh, baby, this is going to be hot. Okay, so that guy there. And then we need some MK1 belts, please. Oh, dude, it's so close. Uh, Oh, we actually pop that guy off. This guy is going to have to be over there. Oh, my God. I can't even believe it fits. That's amazing. She's a... Uh, pop that guy inside of there. Uh, am I? Wait a second here. Did I make nine of these guys? I only need six, you silly slip gator. All right. So I kind of like how this is turning out. So we're just going to go with it. This was such a compact way to split these up. And we didn't need the rest of those three. I forgot we only needed six. Um, so I kind of just, like I said, I like how it's turning out. So we're just going to keep, keep this up over here. So what I want to do with this area is I want to build two different systems. One that is going to make uh, reinforced iron plates simply for us to use um, if we need to build MK2 conveyors. And those are going to get sent back to our warehouse here. So that's what we're going to do with these two guys right here. So over here, we're making screws. Uh, these don't have power yet, but the, over here, we're making the plates. And then I had a little space over here, so I wanted to bring these over. Um, over this way and into a constructor that was over here. So uh, I think actually that's going to go away right there. And then we're going to take number three deal like so. We're going to grab our two and bring this out over to here. And then that guy over here like this. And then we're actually going to go ahead and remove all of this here. These are just going to kind of float out on the edge of the build. And I think it's going to look really neat when we do it like this. I've never done this before. So we're going to see a little bit of experiment. Pop all these guys off. Pop all those guys off. Like, oh, like so, like so. And there we go. So those guys are just going to kind of hang off the edge over here. I think it's going to be pretty cool. Let's pop up here and take a look. Yeah, it looks nice, man. Little conveyors popping over there like so. 
So then, like I said, this guy's got to get powered up, and we're going to be making inside of here the alternate recipe for reinforced iron plates that we have. And then that guy's going to get run over this way. We're going to have to run it down into our um, item conveyor over there, push that all the way back into that area. So over here is where we're going to have to do something a little bit different. Now, I'm not really sure how this is going to work out. So we're going to need to do, I think, a single constructor. And I want to face that probably in this direction. Pardon me, assembler. So let's get our assembler over here like so. Let's place it kind of in line. We could do it like right there, maybe. And then what I've got to figure out is how these are all going to work as far as numbers, right? So if we're going to pop inside of here and say we needed the reinforced iron plates. So, or the, uh, yeah, reinforced iron plates. We need 25 iron per minute and we need 60 screws per minute. So that means that we're going to have to start doing a little bit of math. This is going to make 15. We would need to have 50 to make it double. That's eh, 45. And then just one set for screws. That's going to be 90. I'm trying to see if I could double this recipe, basically, and make it 50 and 120, um, which I think that I could do here. If we made three of these, the plates, that would be 45, very close to 50. And then this, if we overclock it, we could get it up to 120, no problemo. Um, that just means now we have to do some hot uh, combining action over here. Logistics, conveyor merger, uh, like so. We place this pretty gosh darn close over here. This guy here, that guy there, this guy there, now this guy here. Pop it out like one little deal over here to a 90 degree angle. Now we're going to need MK2s on this guy. We could pop that out to, let's say, right there try to get it at a, at a 90 yeah it's not gonna work out for us not gonna be quite the 90 we want well that'll work just like so so if we pop this guy over here like uh this pretty close and then this guy here maybe to there oh look at that man it's like inside of the other belt Oh, now it won't work. Oh, we need reinforced iron plates, lol. All right, this guy into there, like a so. Perfect. Nailed it, Ace. Get up. Now, hot power action. Uh, I got a power pole over there. Let's go ahead and just bring this over. Oh, this guy can go. Over here, like so. You to there. And then let's bring a power pole over to here. And we're probably going to have to place a couple more over in this area here. Bit. Like so, like so, and like so. That guy there, that guy to there, that guy to there. And then hopefully we can get... There's a couple there. Can't afford missing cables! Dude, you're kidding me, right? <laughs> Hook that guy up to there like so. And then... What we got going on over here? You to there. You to there. You over there. You over there. You over there. All right, this should be up and running. I do believe. We should have stuff and things being produced now. Let's take a look and see how this is working out. There's our screws coming out of the deal. Feels good, team. We're making, what, 90 per minute over here? Yeah. And then this guy right over here, making 15. Okay, cool. Now, these guys over here are combining up. Everything is working out in this area as well. We turn this guy on. So we're getting 7.5 per minute once we get our 60 screws. It's going to take a second for those to pop over. All right. So we are now working at, let us see here, once this is up and running. 100% efficiency. Oh, geez, Louise, man. That guy's making screws pretty slow. 99% efficiency. I wonder why. <laughs> I know it's getting 40 ingots per, per second, or 40 ingots per minute. 100% efficiency on this guy. All right, sweet. And then over here, I don't really care if this one works super fast. Let me turn my light on here. I don't really care if this pumps them out really, really quickly. It doesn't have to work really fast. It just kind of has to work as a drip, because that's the guy that's going to send. We're going to send that back over here. 
And this is just for if we need to go to our storage area to build belts. Get a little bit of raw materials to build the belts. Um, so yeah, this guy's working out quite nicely. In fact, I think I can even maybe scale down the size of this a little bit. Um, I'll have to take a look and see how I want to make it look down below. We could scale down the size a little bit here. Um, I think I could probably also grab some overclockers and maybe get a little bit more efficiency out of this. How many overclockers do we have left? We have 20. So we got plenty of overclockers to play with. I'm going to do that. I'm going to play with the overclockers a little bit. And I'll BRBs, peeps. All right, you guys ready for some math? Uh, this is pretty cool, man. So 270 ingots per minute are coming up into this line. That's splitting three ways. So each one of these belts holds 80. That means each one of these belts holds 40. So we're feeding 40 ingots per minute maximum into each one of these constructors. So if we take a look at this constructor right here, we're using 40.2 to generate 20. So basically it says 99% efficient because we're using 40.2, but we're getting 40 uh, ingots in for 20 out per minute. Now, if we come over here, what I've done is I've scaled the clock speed on this down so that it's using only 20 per minute. And that means we only need to use 48 screws. Now, if you pop over here, I've gone and clocked down this machine to 50%. Wait, did that say 48? It does say 48. We have to actually change this just a touch. Well, I changed this down to make it so it's 45. If we're at 52%, will that give us 48? I don't know. Let's see here. And 46. All right, let me go 55%. We got to take a second just to check these guys to make sure that they're going to be working right. I think 45 is going to be too much, of course. But if it's just a little over 48, it'll be fine. And 49. Okay, so we can probably go 54. Doesn't matter that much what it is, but just for efficiency's sake, we'll use a little bit less power if we get it perfectly right. So let's just take a look and see here what we got. All right, 48.6. Perfect. So we're utilizing a little less power because of that. It helps to make everything just a little bit run a little bit better. Uh, the only thing that we're doing a little bit weird here now is that we could actually probably downgrade this to MK1 belt. Um, I guess we can't downgrade. We can upgrade. This is already MK2 belt, but we can't downgrade. Hmm, that's odd. Um, all right, so this is working the way that it should be. This guy over here now should be at 99 near to 97%, it says. I don't know why it says 97, but it should be like 99, 100%. It's pretty close. It feels good team. So over in here, what I've done, remember, is I wanted to double the output of this machine here. So I put two overclockers in. Now we're looking for 50 plates and 120 screws. And what I did here is I just uh, put this guy in 134% making 20. These guys are both making 15 as normal. That's a total of 50. And then this guy over here, we overclocked to 134% to make 120.6. So we're doubling the output of this guy here. And then we can utilize these guys for whatever we want. So we're making 15 per minute right there. You can see we're starting to fill this bad ombre up. So that's our reinforced iron plate factory right there, guys. Um, I think we actually may do some additional reinforced iron plate stuff and things, but the reason why, if we go over into our production, if we look at our craft bench, what we're going to be working on getting automated in the future here is modular frames. Those are going to take reinforced iron plates. We're also going to need rotors, which we can do. That's no big deal. Um, and we're going to do those guys over here. So when we change this over and upgrade this factory, it will be rotors and probably modular frames. Um, and we'll most likely be bringing these reinforced iron plates over there to help with that supply because these guys are going to need i mean they need rods which are really easy but we're going to need a lot of reinforced iron plates to make the modular frames so uh next order of business up here for us is going to be bringing this line over to our storage system here and that means this is actually going to go all the way over uh can i jump without taking damage over to here if you guys are wondering why i'm not healing also it's because i don't care to heal right now um because i'm not going out into the wild and doing anything where i need to survive so i don't want to waste my berries in case i accidentally fall and die or something like that just an fyi to you as to why we're not healing up over here um all right so this guy here is a little bit whack job a little bit wackadoo uh what we're gonna need to do here is go something like this can't afford dude what we're out of plates you kidding me man so um i gotta do a little bit of work over here because this line 
that I want to bring down there with the reinforced tire place is going to come on this side. So I need to make a little logistical deal to make this corner happen right here. And then we're going to run that line all the way out there and get the storage up and running for it as well. And we are... Wait, where are the guys? Where are stuff and things? There they are. It's so far away still. These MK1 belts suck. So uh, we are about to, in a una memento here, bring our first little batch over. Now, there was a backlog in the machine, of course, so there's going to be a whole bunch. These are going to come quite slowly, in fact, in the future, but it's fine. Like I said, we just need a little bit of a drip. We don't need a, delu a deluge. Deluge? Is that the word? I think it is. Uh, let's pop over here like uh, so. You come over to here. This guy over to here. And then I think I can get this guy to come right down into there like that. Perfect. Nailed the base cubes. Oop, this actually has to go away. We need a door in here. Get our walls. Hot door action right there. The color will change after like an hour or something like that. I don't know what's up with the color not updating. This guy goes into here. This guy goes into here. Oh, yeah, baby. Now, over here, we still have to figure out these guys or set these guys up. Like that. And I think I have a couple over here that we've missed still. Oh, yeah. So we can do that guy. That guy. That guy. And that guy, I think. Uh, There we go. Pop those guys out. Because we have some extra stuff in these. Even though these aren't all hooked up. Like we don't have concrete hooked up down here over already. Uh, or yet. And we don't have our copper wire hooked up yet. Uh, we still have our storage for it over here. We just moved the extra we've already made. Are you guys coming down yet? Dude, how long is it going to take, man? Well, it is what it is. Look at all those sexy reinforced iron plates making their way down. And they're all going to stick, uh, sort of get sorted and sort right down into here. And it's going to be unbelievable amazing. So the plan is, uh, what do we got? Plates, rods, screws, concrete, then copper wire. Then I want to do regular cable. Um, over here, I want to do the stuff we need to make all of the conveyor belts. So I want encased, or the um, reinforced iron plates, then I want steel plates, and then I don't even know what we're gonna have moving forward. But that's gonna be it for today, guys. There it is, look how sexy they are. Thank you so much for coming to hang out with me today, guys. Make sure if you liked the video that you saw, please don't forget, show your support, smash the thumbs up button. Uh, special shout out to everybody who supports the channel on patreon.com slash slipgator. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. You make stuff and things happen. And if you want to hang out and do more stuff and things with me, go over to twitch.tv slash slipgator where we do um, streams Monday through Friday, 5 to 9. Thank you guys so much for coming to hang out. May the stuff and things be with you!